So what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today we are about to go to Habitat for Humanity because it's next door to my hotel, really. So yeah, guys, um, I'm next door to a Habitat Restore, and I'm in lovely Florida, which we should already know by now. And I have plans to go do some fun things today, like ride some jet skis, but that's not for like three hours away. So while I wait, I think I'm going to run across to this Habitat store and see if I can find maybe about a good $10, $20 item or so. Profit, I need profits. So uh, that's gonna be the goal, walk in here. Habitat Restore, if you don't know, it's pretty, it's a, it's a decent place. I got my trailer there, and if you don't know that, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave that video here or in the description box somewhere. But uh, yeah, I got me a trailer from Habitat for like 200 bucks, got it fixed up. It's probably worth like around 1200 bucks, but I'll probably use it. Desperate times, I might sell it, but I have a trailer. You can't go wrong with that. And then I'm just now realizing I don't have my mask, so I might have to turn around and go back to my room and get my mask and then try this all over again, guys. So, uh, yeah. Well, I guess I'm not coming to Habitat at 9 o'clock. Says they open at 9 on Google. The door says they open at 9, but they're saying they don't open till 10. So I have an hour to blow before I get to come back here and... I don't know. So I might just Google some uh, thrift stores and see if there's any around here. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay guys, I already filmed my intro, but it's 10.09 now, so I'm gonna go back to this restore place and see if I can find something. Wish me luck, let's go. Okay guys, so this is like my 17th time trying to come to this Habitat store because I said where I was staying was like literally right next door. But anyways, I like coming to Habitat for Humanities just because I find some pretty decent products out of here. A lot of like plumbing materials, um, a lot of household items. Uh, you find a lot of things that are still sealed in the box. Um, you can find furniture, painting, pictures. As you can see, I walk over here and look at the prices of the TVs. These TVs were like 75 bucks out of my price range. But again, coming to Habitats are a good place to source and thrift from. Now, let's get into it. I, oh, check me out. But anyways, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get into these items. Um, just pretty much walking around like always in every single store. You want to walk around and get a layout and see exactly where all the items are. Um, I always try to look for items like this that are sealed. But these are light bulbs. Light bulbs are eh. Their light bulbs are all over the place. They're saturated, so I stay away from light bulbs. A lot of these items are big. Again, I have a car, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, these are like the items I normally see in Habitat. So like these lights right here, I'll, I'll check out because these are like base for lights. The profits for me personally weren't that great. So I decided to um, pass on these items when it's all said and done. Right here, pretty much I'm just turning on my cell phone signal so I can scan products on eBay. But yeah, scan the item see what it's worth i think this was selling for like two dollars and some change and then i, I could have sold it for like five so that's definitely not something that i want to do and it was like a lot of that for a lot of these items selling for like five and four and three dollars you know look at me always checking my sold comps first and if i don't find sold comps sometimes i'll take a chance on items depending on the profit margins but a lot of the times you will find sold comps and I even believe I had a video premiering right around this time. So I was trying to be like, oh man, I got to catch my video premiere. So I was kind of like trying to really run around the store then and see exactly if I could find like a really good item. And then I had like jet skis coming up. So, you know, I was kind of really just thrifting, hoping I could find like one good jewel. But I don't know. We'll see if I found a good jewel or not as I source through this store. So give me a minute so I can um, check out this product. And as always, you want to check these sold comps when you're scanning items to get the best idea of what they're selling for.
say it is a what sold video on eBay. That's right. That's right, that was a What's Sold video on eBay, which you can go check out on the playlist of the What's Solds. But anyways, um, yeah, I thought this backgammon piece right here was going to be worth some money just because it was old, and it wasn't. Um, and then these, I, I don't even know what they were, um, the microcurrents, I just, they had my attention. Um, I thought they were going to be worth some money, there, but then the prices were like selling for $19.99 and then I think that they were selling for like $19.99 when I scanned and then checked like the sold comps. So that was like a completely waste of my time. I could have ordered it on eBay for a cheaper price. And then that was pretty much everything throughout the store. I mean, Florida is a little bit more expensive. I mean, I like that little bobblehead. I thought about getting it for myself, but you know. And then this is the prize. Yes, uh, this they had an auction for this item. Um, they said the starting bid was like three hundred dollars. Um, obviously, there's no way I'm gonna win, but I still put in a bid for five hundred and one name, and then I just messed around and put a bid in for like five fifty for the other. Um, just cause you know why not. If I win, it'd be something great to have, but I'm not paying more than 500 bucks. That's gonna be the Habitat for Humanity trip. I'm gonna see if I can hit some more Goodwills before I leave Florida so I can attach it to this video actually. So I can have one good sourcing trip in Florida like I did in Colorado. But anyways guys, there were some okay items in there. The best thing that I wanna say I saw was probably that chair. That chair was going for like uh, $700 and they were selling for like 100 and some change. I wish or maybe I got that backwards. They were selling for 700 and they cost 100 and some change in this habitat. If I had my car and my trailer, I probably would've got about three or four of those things, to be honest. But I'm in a small car, so I can't get that. Um, yeah, guys, my video's premiering live right now, so I better catch that too. But <laughs> anyways, guys, that's it for the habitat store. I feel like there was like one or two good items in there. I walked out empty handed, but as you can see, I did apply for that drawing for that um that Jackie, I think it was Jackie Robinson, that frame or whatever that you saw is a bid. So I put in a bid of like 550. I doubt I win, but I'm not gonna pay more than $500 for an item. But yeah, so hopefully that'd be a pretty cool item to win. Jackie Robinson, yeah. But anyways guys, I'm about to, uh, Go to the hotel and maybe I'll add some more footage of me thrifting and hitting up some more Goodwills or whatever. Because I plan on hitting at least one, one or two more Goodwills before I leave this place. The lovely state of Florida. But anyways, guys, yeah, I'm rambling. So uh, I will catch you at the next Goodwill or the next store possibly. So what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay and today we are in lovely Florida and I'm about to go to some Goodwills. Yes, I'm about to see if I can hit up one, two, three, four, five, maybe just one Goodwill and see exactly what I can find because that is the goal. I'm on vacation and I had to make a little pit stop at this Goodwill. Uh, I did a little searching at a Habitat yesterday and I really didn't find too much. I probably could have found something. Um, I found some chairs that were worth some money, but I didn't grab them. But anyways, this is a new day. We're gonna see exactly what we can find. Ah, Sabrina! Had to get that out of the way because you know I'm wearing the Lion King shirt. But anyways, I'm gonna go in this Goodwill and see what they got. And then we'll, yeah, see what profits I can find. I know you're tired of me saying this, but this Goodwill was closed. Yep, yeah, pissed me off, but on to the next one. So this is another Goodwill in Florida. Uh, it looks kind of nice to be honest on the outside at least. So we're gonna go in here and see what we can find and see if we can find some profits, profits, profits. But as always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe as I try to watch where I'm going. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this is gonna be another situation where I feel like I am super spoiled living in the wonderful state of South Carolina. Because when you go to like Goodwills in Florida and I went to the one in Colorado and I feel like I've been to ones in North Carolina, the prices are just a little bit more expensive than the ones you would find anywhere else. And as you can see, like they have boxes of cameras that are empty. Like that's just, I don't know, this is not supposed to be a bin type store but like the prices were outrageous in this place. It's literally like I was shopping at 
Walmart or Ross or any store like that that you could name. Um, the prices weren't too friendly. Um, they might have had a few items that I probably could have got, but I don't know, guys. I just feel like if I'm not on kind of like real desperation mode sourcing, I don't really need it. And then like my death power was so big that I didn't really have a need to want to buy these high priced items to make a small profit. As you can see, I'm grabbing all these items and then you just don't feel as if you're going to win every single time. I think that's important in this video to understand too. You're not going to win every single Goodwill. Um, that's just not going to happen. Um, it used to happen for me. It felt like, but... could have took a chance on these cars i think they were going for $3.99 a piece chuck sold comps they really weren't that good selling for like eight nine bucks i could have earned a few dollars but it just i just wasn't into it and i feel like i should have got these hess cars or these hess trucks i think like christmas coming up the value would have been okay and what joey bada bing taught me when it comes to clothes you check for like items with like one seam clothing and a method just to go ahead and make it quicker walking down the aisle um so i shout out to joey by the bing for that information and yeah guys this goodwill was a bust i'm not an expert on shoes so if i should have got those let me know I, I, I don't know uh i've been trying to like walk the aisles more and see if I see like a pair of shoes that can stand out or a brand name just to you know expand my horizons because again lately I've been just trying to learn more products and see if I can find something in the wild um I'm just trying to find like a really really good product and I just haven't had that luck when I run into these goodwills so this goodwill will be over with but in this video is going to be over with two guys. I didn't record an outro, but as always, thank you for like sharing and subscribing. And if you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and I'm not biased. If you didn't like the video, I understand you can give me a thumbs down, but this is the Goodwill trip in Florida and make guys make sure you check out the next video because it's going to be a very good knowledgeable video for you, especially when it comes to why you should go from eBay to Amazon and do both. But anyways, guys, I'm rambling. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And at this point in time, your boy Tay, he appreciates you. He really appreciates you. But he's out. <laughs>